Okay, I'm just gonna get straight to the point because I'm I over talk a lot, so I'm gonna get straight to the point this video. First off, I'm using Sublime Text. Sublime Text because it's lightweight. Here I go again. I just keep talking. Just follow follow along and you know you just understand so I already did this video and I forgot to set up my mic properly and there was no audio in the video so I'm just gonna do this over again this is the code so if you don't want to watch this video there you go you can just copy that and you need to import um, discord utils to get whatever you know just just do this and that is how you get it. If you want to go through it with me, then keep watching this video. But that is it. That is what you need. And yeah, so don't even bother trying to get this token because I'm going to regenerate it after the video. So yeah, let's see. Going to delete this. Going to do everything over again because, you know. We're going over it. So at client.command. Now you want to make some variables. First of all, we're going to be using this server. So basically, I want to ping. God, it's so laggy. Um, so basically, I want to ping admin. We're gonna ping. Um, we're gonna ping a specific user, and we're gonna ping admin. You get it? Simple. So here we go. So. First, first off, to ping admin, you have to do this. It's pretty easy. You just name it whatever role you want, and then you do equals. So the admin uh, equals get. Well, to use get, you need to import get, and to import get, you do from discord.utils import get, as you saw before. Um, you want to do this ctx .guild roles. So admin is inside of the guild roles, and now that the bot knows it's inside of the guild roles, we're gonna name which one. So admin is just the variable, it doesn't matter what it's called, it's just admin, and it means that it is admin and basically that is how you get the role now if you want the bot to ping it in chat then you simply just do oh I forgot to put the command actually um what do we name this I'll just do test ctx and then I'll just put this bad boy here that should work. We just do await ctx dot send, and then we can just. Well, if you don't want to ping the the admin, I'm guessing you know how to make an embed, so I'm not gonna go over that. Embeds embeds are pretty easy to make. So you know, if you don't want to ping the admin, I have no admins in the server I'm using, so I'm I don't really care if I ping it or not. So. But if you don't want to ping the admin, then you know, just put it in embed. So, what we do is we do admin min dot mention. Now, I say admin dot mention because so you dot mention is what you use to mention the actual role and basically if this was called role and I put role right here then it would work like that and it would ping the admin role but this is called admin and we are picking the admin role 
God. And that's basically how you do it. Um, in order to ping the a specific user, this is something that is commonly used. For example, maybe bots. I'll give you a good example right here. Uh, a good example is this. If you want to mention a specific channel, a specific uh, a specific role, there it is. Now, for some for some reason, it is showing up like this. It was not like this before, but for some odd reason, it's like that. So, uh, I don't know. I'll have to fix that, but. Here I am, tech. I work for this guy as his bot developer, so that's a fun fact, I guess. Uh, back to Sublime Text. In order to ping a specific user, you do this. So I'm gonna ping myself. Get ctx guild members equals click. Easy as that easy as that if somebody has the same name then I'm pretty sure you could do this ID and then put their ID into here I'm not sure if you can use an integer or a string but because I don't use the ID but yeah I'm just gonna keep it simple and give you a quick tutorial on this there you go um wait ctx ctx dot send okay clvrk dot mention and there we go simple as day it's very easy and this will help a lot if you wanna for example I'm just gonna delete all this stuff well, actually, let's put it to test. Since I do have to show proof that is that this actually works. Um, let's save. Um, and this is testing. You don't have to tell me. I know my computer is slow, but it works, and that's what's important. Okay, so Python test.py. We're gonna run the code. Guild is not defined. What is this? I'm just going to delete this. Okay. Oh, it's in this server. Okay, so new board is online. We're gonna do a test. And there you go, it works. If I click on this, I'll go to my profile. Good old Clark. As you can see there is not is there is no said message here, so it's me, it works. You don't have to put the user ID, you just put the name in. My name is pretty unique, so it should work. Um yeah. Now as for pinging the person who triggers the command, it's very simple. Uh, very very simple, you just do this, ctx.author.mention, and I think that should work. So it will ping me two times. 
well, you know, I'll just take this out so it doesn't turn out to be confusing, right? I'll just take this up out because I already proved myself it works. Um, let's just press save. Control plus C, Python test.py. Now this is useful because basically you can send a message with this like the test command has succeeded or something like that but totally up to you and yeah it works like a charm yeah and I'm not a Python god, I'm not a Python pro, I'm not a Discord PY pro. So if you wanna if you want help on something basic, you can join my Discord server, but I can't guarantee I'll be able to help you with everything, but I will be able to give you some tips and so on. But if you really want help, I recommend going to the, the Discord.py actual like official server great help they helped me a lot with this stuff i wouldn't even be able to do this video if it wasn't for that server so just check it out and yeah should be enough for this video hope i helped and good luck with coding your bot bye